Hi, I'm back and in this video I will be grading some red Komodo footage. Basically it's not more than that to it. If you're into watching other people grade then you can stay and watch one. Here we have the footage, it's a guy driving his bicycle. I have a link in the description which gives you two months free when signing up so if you're into this stuff then you should definitely head over there. I have this image in my hand of this footage that in the end of this grade I want to have a really warm sunset vibe. Um, it looks like the clip is shot with the 6400 or let me actually decode using camera metadata. Yeah, it looks like it's shot with 6400 Kelvin, but I think we will start to bump that up a bit and then try to make the image just look nice and warm and um, get it to where I feel like I have it already in my head. Let's first bump up the color temperature to something that looks good. Oh. No, we can't go up to 10,000. All right, something like this. I'm not sure about this, but since it's a raw file, I think if you do these kind of changes within the actual file instead of on the footage, uh, it feels like we preserve more of the image. Let's, let's take the tint and go towards the magenta to see if we can get something out of that as well. Right now I'm, I'm actually looking at this skin. We drag the magenta over. Both the sky and the skin looks a bit too much. Now I will go back half or about half. I think maybe here it looks a bit too green in my opinion. So we're definitely on the right path going towards the magenta to get it just more natural. And I feel like we have it there. So the first node done. Let's uh, white balance. Second node. Uh, let's make a few more. And I will start with making a glow effect to get a little bit softer image. And we'll be doing that with the uh, soft light here. And then let, since we have a panel, let's use it. So go to FX and and shine threshold. Let's drag it up a bit. And the opacity, I'm gonna drag down just to see where we at. And we're going back. We split it in half. I wish that the shine threshold and the opacity were on the same page, but let's leave it there. And we are heading back towards the second node and let's call that primes. Let's start to make the image a bit brighter. So I will lift the, we'll go up with the lift somewhat and the gamma no i'm going up with the gain i will go up with the gamma and the lift somewhere around here and where do we go from here well let's take up the gain somewhere here and then i will go into the log and drag down the shadows a bit. Mm, somewhere here. Let's bring it up a bit. And I will go out and take the gamma wheel in the primaries and drag it down a bit. I will go into log again. And go down with the shadows even more somewhere around here we'll go back into the primaries 
and drag down the gamma a bit more somewhere here maybe i don't know maybe i will come back and go up with the shadows with the within the log but we will stay here for now let's head over to the third node call it saturation let's start with adding some color in the lightest parts of the image and by that i mean uh, the brightest parts and the parts that doesn't have too much color uh, uh, uh. let's go up here with the saturation let's just bump it up a bit and this is way too much we'll go down to about Let's start here, 50, 55, somewhere around there. Let's go back to the white balance. Into camera raw settings. The tint, I'm not too sure of this. I feel like dragging it over to the green side makes the skin a bit, makes the skin Somewhat more pleasing. Um, I'll go into the vector scope here. Ah, what the hell? Uh, let's make a uh, uh, no, 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 no. Let's make a ah. Let's make a line here on the skin. Now when we have that, let's go out from the invert and then back and we will hit the highlight here. And uh, oh, that was very small. Let's go over to the sat and just drag it up. And then back. If we drag it out a bit more and we have some more feedback from the vector scope please it's a bit much to the red let's head over to the tint and drag it even more towards the green and that is too much green i would say somewhere around there then yeah that looks spot on well, we will be doing a lot more to this image, so let's um, not waste time on this. Okay, I think that looks really good. Uh, let's continue. Let's go out from the highlight. And I, I'm, not, I'm not sure about the primary adjustments. I'm, that, was, that was not my best primary adjustment. I think I will reset the whole node, actually. To there let's start again up with the lift and drag up the gain and the gamma so not too much I think that was the main reason it looked so bad before so down with that maybe we have it on zero and the gain should be somewhere around here I think yes sir and actually the saturation is not very good i think we will reset the saturation disable it and mm, we'll, we'll we'll be letting the color boost for now that can, that can be that can be uh 17. this node i will have some contrast or actually curves should be better word and the fifth node let's take and make it a look node let's try to ooh, ooh, go a bit towards the green or almost yellow with the lift and for the highlight let's go up
For the gamma, let's take it and drag it over to the magenta blue side. Disable that. Hmm. That makes a lot of sense. Let's try to push it even harder. Take the gain and even more. Let's go up with it even more. Same with the gamma. With the lift. Let's take it and really get it towards the green yellow side and disable it mm. for sure i think that what we did the first time is better let's use the prev mem button let's not use the prev mem button <laughs> what the hell this i think for this one I'll actually reset the look node and uh, try to remember what I did the first time. So lift over to the green, yellow, gamma over to the blue, magenta, and the gain up towards the red, orange. Lift somewhere here. Then we went. Up with the gain. Over here. And then we went over with the gamma. Somewhere here. This little node, I think I want to. Let's try something random. Try a lot. Uh, what should we use? Not not any film emulations. Let's go down and see what we have. Hmm. Impulse. Maybe we could do something cool with these lots. This is nice. Kodak Vision 3, 250D, 5207. I like this one. Let's apply it. Let's disable it. Mm. Hmm. That's weird. Have some some kind of weird looking uh, stripes here and here. What happens if we disable the look? Ah, oh, it's it's still there. This is why I always very careful using lots. So how do we solve this? We could actually. Uh... However, I really like this look. Let's pick this as a reference point. Let's try to get this without using a lot. We can have it there, but let's disable that and we can start working with the look node again. Now we need to adjust the primaries. You see that the, the highlights are too clipped. We need to fix that by doing that. Let's head into the gallery, choose that and select the wiper. This is what we have. This is what we want. Hmm. I, I like this. Let's 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 try to go here. First off, look. What should we do to get this? Gamma. Come back. Come back. Come back. Not not here. This is not it, but it's closer at least. If I just look at this skin now. Where are we closest? It's too much. I think, I think here we're pretty close. Let's adjust the uh, 
gain. Drag it back. Should definitely go up towards the warm side here. Almost something like this. Let's bring the lift back. Somewhere here, I feel is is pretty uh, is pretty nice. Um, let's try to go into the white balance and head into raw again, and play around with the tint some more. Let's take it over to the green side. Uh, I feel like the skin doesn't match really, but. Um, the sky is closer to what is on the right side. From here, I will go to the primaries. Let's try to adjust so we so we get a bit brighter. Where should we go? We should. Oh wait, oh, shit. Let's try it down. Uh, uh, I think we're somewhere here. I think we are where we should be. And let's take the gamma and try to find somewhere that looks pleasing. Lift down there somewhere. Up with the gamma. Okay, so if we drag down, we were about here. Take a look here. Up here. And I'm going to take the gain and drag down. And look. Look what's happened now. There. It's almost perfect match. It's almost the perfect match now. Hell, I'm I'm actually that is that is cool. I didn't think that was possible, uh, but that looks very very close. Go up a bit and down. There, there. I mean, I can't even see the line now. Or yeah, actually I can, but that's that's really close. I'm really happy with that. Of course, the the face is uh, the skin tone is is not that good, and uh, the jacket is way too saturated. But that we will take a look at now. So if we go into the look and um, what the hell, I feel like doing a parallel node here. Let's make some um, uh, hue versus hue adjustments here. I will take this hue and grab it and just move it up slightly and i feel like we have we are pretty close now let's hit this point and drag it towards the uh, red side all almost and over to the magenta Let's take the next point and drag it out towards the yellow. Take this again and move up. This is way too much. Let's move it down. This is way too low. Just about here. Or there. This is hard. Let's leave it here somewhere. One thing we should definitely do here is to make the jacket more towards the orange and uh, desaturated a, a bit. Or actually maybe even just only saturated. Uh, sorry, desaturated. I will try to do that with another parallel node. Let's take the qualifier 
And I know that Qualify isn't the best tool, but uh, let's just try and see what we can achieve. Okay, uh, let's uh, let's do like that and go back and then we want to we want to go into the um, let's take just the regular saturation and drag it down mm -hmm. i think we have it there where are we at where are we at if we drag it down really much there we need oh we need to go in the wipe image wipe again Ah, okay. That's definitely not making any difference. Well, what we need to do then is that we'll have to play with the hue again. Uh, actually, we can take the red knob here and play with that. So, oh, not that. We want to go towards this side and... Not there. Somewhere here. And if we go to the saturation and drag it down. It's somewhere here, but um can go into the human versus luminance. We can go up with the luminance, I think. Now we're getting to, to a much better point, but this I really don't like because it's it feels like such a big change in the um, in the uh, in the curves. And I feel like that could possibly introduce a lot of strange thing in the image, just like the uh, lot did for us. But um, right now it, it's uh, it looks good. So I will I will uh, keep this. I will keep this for now. I'll go to the full viewer and then we can turn the image wipe off. So this is where we at now. And I think this is pretty cool. We turn it on, right side is the lot, left side is the grade. If we turn that off. This is the full image with the grade we have done. There we go. Hope you like this follow along video slash tutorial on uh, just a random grade. I really enjoy making these. It's fun. I learn a lot and hope you do too. See you in another video. Thank you. Bye.